Paranoid Android, one of the best custom ROM known for its stability, is now available based on Android 10. Right now it is available for MI90, Redmi K20 and OnePlus 7 Pro. Slowly it will be supported by many other devices too. So in this video we will be taking a look at Paranoid Android for OnePlus 7 Pro. So without further ado, let's get started. So here is my OnePlus 7 Pro which is now running on Paranoid Android which is based on Android 10. So let me show you the software information first. Here you can see Android version is Android 10. Paranoid Android version is Alpha 1. You might find few bugs here and there. If you guys wants to install this, then I'll mention all the download links in the description below along with the installation guide. But you need to make sure that you're running Oxygen OS based on Android 10. So this is going to be the first look of Paranoid Android. So this will be a quick setting panel. You can edit quick setting tiles from here. You have dark theme directly available. In the quick setting panel, we have night light, inverted colors and data saver. So Volti services have no issues. I am using my Geo SIM card and I did not find any kind of issues with the Volti services. We have a basic AOSP camera but if you want you can replace it with the Google camera application. Link will be given in the description below. Just download and install that APK file then you should have Google camera available on your device. On this ROM there is a slight issue with the Wi-Fi signal strength. As you can see here Wi-Fi signal strength is pretty low if I compare it to the Oxygen OS and if you are using 5 GHz band then you will also see a number called 5 in the status bar. Fast charging is working you won't have any kind of issues but on the lock screen you will still see slow charging but you don't have to worry about it the device charged pretty fast. All the sensors are working fine like accelerometer, light, proximity, magnometer, compass, gyroscope. This will be your app drawer where you have a beautiful application having lots of amazing wallpapers. We also get a retro music player on Paranoid Android. So now let's go inside the settings. Here under network and internet, both the bands of Wi-Fi are working fine that is 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. No issues with the Volti services. Bluetooth seems to be working fine. I have already tested with my OnePlus Bullet wireless headsets. Then we have apps and notification. And here pretty much similar stuff what we get it on Oxygen OS. Then under battery, we get the battery saver mode. Battery manager, you can enable battery percentage from here. And battery graph also seems to be working fine. Under display, we have battery level, night light which works fine. We have adaptive brightness that also have no issues. Then we also get dark theme option which is already available inside the quick setting panel. You can enable that from here. And if you turn on dark theme, the supported applications will turn their UI into dark. Auto rotation works fine. Under color we have natural, boosted and adaptive. Lock screen display consists of add user info, show lockdown options and new notification wake up. Always on display is not available on this room. After that under sounds vibration works fine. And for ringtones option we have google sounds available. Haptic feedback is also pretty good. Then we have options like privacy under which we have permission manager where you can control the permissions for specific applications. Later under lock screen, fingerprint is working fine. I have not noticed any kind of delay with the fingerprint scanner. Then we have also got the feature of digital well-being and parental control. And on this ROM that is working great. On the previous ROM that was CR Droid, there were few issues with the digital well-being and parental control. After that we have system under which we have options of gestures which include jump to camera, system navigation gestures in which you can also use the new gestures from Google and you can change the back sensitivity. Later you have other options which is two button navigation and three button navigation. As you guys are aware Paranoid Android is not a highly customizable ROM but one of the stable ROM to be used as daily driver. Being an alpha build I have not noticed any kind of major bugs till now. Touch is pretty smooth you won't see any kind of delay in the touch or any kind of lags while using the device. Alert slider also works fine. Now let's also take a look at the benchmark results with Geekbench application and Antutu Bench application. So with Geekbench application single core have scored 764 and multi core have scored 2605. With Antutu benchmark application device has scored 3,68,180. Pretty good scores on OnePlus 7 Pro. So guys this was a quick look on paranoid android based on android 10. 
If you still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video. And if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.